Hello everyone and welcome. Today I have a general park update for you guys. Plus, I have to respond to a rumor alert. The rumor alert will be regarding a couple of attractions that are changing. Once we get to those attractions inside the park, we'll discuss them. But first, we'll start with the update portion of this video, and it's gonna be in City Walk. As we can see here, the Universal Studios store, the new one they're building here, does have signage up. Famous and iconic Universal Globe, with the words Universal and Studio Store sprawled across it. And here on the corner, just Universal Studio Store, no globe there, at least not yet. Uh, I do prefer the first one, kinda cool with the globe and everything, but right on the corner, more signage and of course under the signage i do believe this will be entry into the actual store and around the corner as if we were going towards universal studios and voodoo donuts we have more signage uh obviously again i think this will be entry an entry point into the store as well and then on this other corner right next to voodoo donuts in big font big letters universal and studio store another entry point to get into the store I would also like to note here in City Walk if you want to get a drink a Mardi Gras drink they do have a little station here for drinks from Mardi Gras I believe it's what five locations New Orleans Puerto Rico the Bahamas Belgium and Germany get your Mardi Gras drinks right here in City Walk now I wanted to start my day at Studios, not Islands of Adventure, but as I was driving in by Cabana Bay, I can actually see the top hat from there, and I saw the Velocicoaster go over the top hat. I'm tempted to start there, but mm, I still think I'm going to Studios first. So yes, you can see the top hat from a lot of different angles. As I was driving in, I got off of I-4, and I go right by uh, Cabana Bay, saw the coaster going over the top hat pretty impressive actually before I get into studios one of the rumors regarding uh, an attraction if you will is in City Walk so let's head over there first and of course what makes these rumors is the fact that Universal has not had an official statement about it therefore it's still a rumor even though other people including myself may be talking about it until Universal has official word is considered a rumor and here is the site of our first rumor even though Universal has officially announced that Blue Man Group is gone, they haven't said anything about a replacement. Before I get to the rumor specifically, I do want to note that um, I really don't talk about rumors until I feel good about it. So I'm usually not the first person to say the rumor. I don't say anything until I feel good about it. And now, at this moment in time, I do feel good. I feel good enough to say that a replacement show for the Blue Man Group should be arriving here in the year 2023. Sometime the year 2023, the replacement show for Blue Man Group. Can I tell you what show it's going to be? No, I cannot. That's not part of the rumor. I don't have that information just yet. But once I feel good about that, once I feel like it's a solid lead, then I'll share it with you guys. Take a look at the Mardi Gras medallion. There used to be dates up here, but they have since changed the date, so they're just covering up the dates now. I can tell you Mardi Gras will last through April 11th. Across the way from the Today Cafe, right by the Hello Kitty store, is this little stage. I believe this is where Hello Kitty hangs out to be socially distanced uh, for photo ops. Oh yeah, before I get too far into this video, I have a follow-up to an answer I provided in the weekly roundup. Someone had asked about Tesla parking. So when I drove in today at the parking garage, I asked. Apparently, according to this uh, team member, there is no Tesla charging stations inside of the garage. And he said there used to be by Valet, but Valet's not open. I'm sure the stations are still there, but because Valet's not open, you can't use that. He said the only way you can charge your Tesla right now is at the Universal Studios hotels. Look at all the service animals. One thing is for sure, this group right here, they're gonna have a doggone good time today. Sometimes the puns are just too easy. Today's not the prettiest day, kinda overcast, a little bit of a uh, misting rain from time to time. I'm only wearing my sunglasses to keep my face mask down. 
Oh, the weather is not too bad for Rip Ride Rocket to be running. Although earlier today, I heard it was down for some reason or another. As I mentioned in the last weekly roundup, the Monsters Cafe is open for mobile order. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and order something from there right now. And it is a limited menu. Our only options would be to get the barbecue pork sandwich, the mixed green salad, the vegan jackfruit sandwich, or the barbecue brisket sandwich. Let's see what I get. So I have mobile ordered, and you are allowed to sit inside the restaurant. You can come in here, put in your table number, which I did. I chose to sit in the alien section of the restaurant. In fact, behind my booth, hanging up actual script pages from the alien B-movie, This Island Earth. I might have to go like try to watch this movie now. Another thing that I like about this restaurant, in addition to the atmosphere, the decor, is that they have the TV monitors playing the movie trailers for some of the classic movies. Something to watch during my meal. And now I can reveal my lunch to you. I chose today to go with the barbecue pulled pork sandwich, $13.49 for the sandwich, and it comes with these like kettle chips. Also, I should note, I like that they cut it in half for me. I've eaten half of my barbecue sandwich. I'll let you know what I think of it. I like the barbecue. Personally, it reminds me of a place I ate at as a teenager and I can't get that barbecue sandwich anymore. So the barbecue itself brings back happy memories for me. And I really like this bun. I don't know if this is a pretzel bun or what, but I like the bun that comes with it. Let's take a look around the place and then I'll discuss my lunch a little further. I asked a team member and yes, the bun on that sandwich is a pretzel bun. And then the other thing is those are house made chips. They're actually fried and they are really, really good. The barbecue used in the sandwich, it's not my favorite barbecue, but like I said, it reminds me so much of a barbecue I had when I was a teenager that I really, really enjoyed it. And of course, I love the decor inside of the Monsters Cafe. My favorite, a portrait of the Invisible Man. I was going to try some new Mardi Gras food today, but I really wanted to show you guys that the Monsters Cafe is open, so I don't think I'm going to have room for Mardi Gras food, but there is a new candy in the park. We'll check that out later. And one more thing about the Monsters Cafe. It is only open from 11.30 to 3.30, and remember, it is just mobile order. Which basically means you just can't go into the restaurant and order, like from a server. You gotta use your phone. But you can eat inside, obviously. The Mummy is operational today, but uh, earlier in the week I've been here a couple times and it was down, which, you know, they should have did a total refurb when they, uh, they had the break, when the parks were closed. Should have done it. It still needs it. What's the wait time? I don't know. It's just a virtual line today. And now we'll make our way around the park to that new candy, plus that attraction that's going to be changing. This is the first season. I've seen a food cart here, but this spring season they've added a cart for turkey legs, pretzels, and beer right here by the lagoon, right before you get to, say, um, San Francisco and Fast and Furious. Wow, Fast and Furious is only a 15-minute wait? This has been one of the longest wait times in the park. I wonder if they have increased capacity. The new candy I speak of is inside of uh, Sugar Plums, so let's head into Diagon Alley. So this is crazy. We're right here outside of Sugar Plums. This is the line just to get into the wand store, to get into Ollivander's. Not even the show, just to get into the store to buy the wands. And now we can head into Sugar Plums, see if we can find this new candy. I'm calling an audible. I went inside Sugar Plums. Apparently it's new fudge. I'm not a fudge guy. I didn't get it. I just, fudge is not my thing. Although I think Nikki's gonna be disappointed, I kind of promised her I was gonna bring home the new Sugar Plums. Maybe I'll just bring her home some new Beetlejuice leggings instead. This is where you buy butterbeer. And right over there, that's the end of the line for the butterbeer. Hot butterbeer, still available. By the way, I would like to share with you the wait time for Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts. Currently a two hour and 20 minute wait. Oh well, let's just move on down the road to that attraction that will be changing. Ah, the old Fear Factor Stadium. 
the sign is still covered up but they have brought out both yellow cars that are used in the show for some odd reason and you guys know i am on record saying this attraction will never reopen fear factor live is dead i believe they brought these cars back out just for decor just for ambiance you see the second rumor of the day has to do with fear factor live now here's what we think in the year 2022 no additions to the theme park earlier in this video i mentioned in the year 2023 a replacement show for the blue man group i'm saying in the year 2024 a replacement attraction will take over these lands here at fear factor stadium i don't know if it's going to be a show or if it's going to be a ride but i do believe the year 2024 something will take over the lands here at fear factor live a lot of people think the ministry of magic would take over this land build a whole new attraction for that here it is so close to london i'm not ready to go out on that limb yet though it is a good idea for the moment i'm just saying something some attraction or show will take over fear factor live and to continue on down the timeline we've talked about 2022 23 and 24 of course the big thing in the year 2025 is going to be epic universe special shout out to vicky kearns she spotted a hidden ricky in a previous video i also hit a ricky in this video if you spotted it leave a comment let me know when you saw it and the name you would like for me to shout out in a future video and now i would like to go over to islands of adventure i really need to get some more b-roll of that velocicoaster going for a future video if i see anything outstanding along the way we'll stop and talk about it i don't know if it qualifies as outstanding or amazing but williams of hollywood the prop shop is open here during the week usually just recently it's been open only on the weekends right up front you see some of the christmas stuff nikki has talked about i think that was a live stream but they do have a lot of the christmas decorations for sale and nikki is very interested in some of this stuff this twirly decoration usually three hundred dollars i see they have it marked down to 150. don't let nikki know some of the pricing for the garland is like for three to four feet like 50 bucks and then it goes up like every like two or three feet after that and then inside of the store a bunch more of the christmas trees at various price points depending on the size of the tree of course and i just spoke to a team member the store is open this week because they expect larger crowds in the park but typically this will still only be open on the weekends and now the adventure begins to try to catch that velosa coaster i have had really bad luck in doing so in the past but maybe today will be different maybe today will be my lucky day if it doesn't rain because judging by the clouds and the wind we got some bad weather getting ready to come through well i just saw it go over the top hat hopefully i can get there before the rain does how about that just my luck they're running the coaster but the bridge is closed if you ever see me moving quickly through the park most of the time it's because i'm trying to catch a velocity coaster and now we wait i hear the pre-show it's about the run footage of that coaster for this project i'm doing so let's move on try to catch it from another angle i did miss one run as i was walking over here far i'm having pretty good luck building that footage that b-roll for that special project video that i'm going to make you'll know that video when you see it i think when you see the title of it in the thumbnail you'll know that i captured that video here today
Okay guys, I think that's gonna do it for me for today. I actually spent a lot of time with that Velocicoaster. They did end up opening the bridge, so I spent some time over there. I have plenty of shots that I need for my new video that'll be coming out soon. And the only thing I didn't do today that I wanted to do today was I wanted to try to win Nikki that Bob Ross plush doll. So, but I'll save that for another video, see if I can win her that doll. But as always, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rick's Flicks, and now, time to relax.